hello friends so today we will discuss about a program on series of alternating terms first understand the series it's 2 then with a gap of 4 with a gap of 2 it's minus 4 means the signs are changing alternatively then 6 then minus 8 then after 2 10 then after 2 minus 12 it means after each alternate term the sign is changing that is negative so let's do this program I will make this program very short for you which will be in time this will make the class very then we will take three variables like int e equals to 2 and s for sum equals to 0 and m equals to 1 for multiplication m is for multiplication okay now this e is for gap gap of 2 then what we will do we will apply the for loop and i equals to 1 from 1 because the series 2 we will add 1 we will add 2 in this i equals to 1 i is smaller than equals to from where till we are here to end this and we will we will have to run then i will increment then what we will do first for the clarity i will print this series system dot out dot print ln m into e then we will place the gap i will show you the working later of this program when it is successfully compiled we will print the sum s equals to s plus m into e then e equals to e plus 2 and then m equals to m multiply by minus 1 I will show you why this minus 1 in the working we will close this and then we will simply print the sum system dot out dot print ln sum is plus s this is a very short program about this series but it's too typical to understand you can see there is one error system dot out okay so yes spelling is incorrect sorry so you can see this is fully compiled successfully and now first we will understand the working of this program first this int n then e equals to 2 e is for gap and s for sum and m for multiplication then i equals to 1 if 1 is smaller than equals to suppose n we have taken 4 then if 1 is smaller than equals to 4 yes it's true condition is true then m into e what is the initial value of m and e 1 and 2 now 1 into 2 is equals to 2 then first means true is printed with a gap and then it will come to this sum then see this is this sum s value is 0 so 0 plus m into e m into e is 2 then it will print 2 means it will not print it will store the value in s 2 now s value is 2 i will write here s equals to 2 now here e value is uh, initial value of e is 2 then 2 plus 2 is 4 then it will be 4 e equals to 4 then what is the value of m then here m equals to 1 
here m equals to 1 and m equals to m into minus 1 and 1 into minus 1 is equals to minus 1 then m equals to minus 1 okay then uh, then after this the i will be incremented then 2 2 is smaller than equals to 4 yes is true then it will come to this loop then m what is the value of m now now the value of m is minus 1 as you can see here the value of m is minus 1 so it will come to this minus 1 into what is the value of e now e is 4 minus minus 1 into 4 is equals to what will the answer minus 1 into 4 it will be minus 4 so after this same process will be repeated and after that sum will be printed uh, that is stored in n as we are adding this m into e this m into e now let's check the output we compile this as you can see it successfully compiled then we will see the output suppose number of terms as per the example we have 4 then as you can see the output is fully correct 2 then minus 4 then 6 then 8 sum is 4 as 6 and 6 plus 2 is 8 and 8 9 10 11 12 now 12 minus uh, 12 minus uh, this 8 minus 12 is minus 4 okay so it means the output is fully correct thanks for watching the video if you haven't subscribed my channel then go to go to my channel and subscribe and press the bell icon thanks for watching if you like the video please hit that like button